What's up, party people? Care watch you, Matt here. How do you like my reading glasses? I need to do it because, uh, oh, my students in Thailand here, they write really small. If you think I look handsome in my reading glasses, go ahead and smash that like button. Give me a 10,000 likes or whatever. All right. Uh, so I wanted to give you guys an update here. Uh, one of my, uh, about PSA level and stuff, one of my, um, uh, one of my viewers, he actually brought up a good point when I went on about a three month hiatus of not filming. He's like, hey man, you doing okay? Uh, haven't heard from you in a while, I'm worried about your health. And I thought, okay, I kind of have a, that's a good point. Uh, I kind of have a public responsibility to sit there and uh, tell people that, hey man, I have can't, guess what? I have stage four cancer and then, all right, see you later, I'm out of here. And yeah, just uh, I should be giving updates, especially since everyone wants to cheer for someone um, uh, fighting a good fight and all that. But anyways, tomorrow I'm going to be going and check my uh, PSA score uh, or level or whatever you want to call it. And I'm feeling good about it. And what I mean by that is maybe not necessarily positive. Uh, that everything will be okay. It's just positive on how I'm going to handle it. Because I didn't handle it great the first time when it started going back up again. It was going to be inevitable that it was going to go back up. And, you know, if I'm going to make it through this, dude, I can't handle it the way I did. I just really got um, all bummed out and stuff like that. I just uh, uh, stress ate and stress drank and all that. And quite frankly, can you blame me? Because uh, of the whole cancer thing. And uh, what was going to say? Oh, yeah. And my initial therapy, it was supposed to be, it uh, last me maybe 12, or excuse me, two years before I'd have to have another fight on my hands. And it lasted about 10 months. Yay! Happy birthday to me. <sighs> So, uh, yeah, I, I really just focused on uh, myself. I was doing a lot of uh, learning to learning about gratitude and how to really manifest it in concrete ways. And look at my eyebrow, dude. Captain Distraction is just getting worried about that. Not worried. I don't know what the hell to say. I'm tired, man. I've been up since five. Need to go to sleep after this. And... You know, like even like accepting the will of God and all that stuff and not really more actively it's a passive thing God, I know what God wants me to do and I'm going out there and doing it because that's what he needs me for and I'm just like and the most important thing about gratitude is I just want to focus on just it, no matter what happens with uh, whatever numbers I get tomorrow, I would just want to be grateful for everything. If it, if it goes up, I want to be grateful. It's like, oh, right, great. I'm going to be... Um, oh, cool. oh, sorry. I'm getting distracted again. I'm going to be f grateful for the fact that, hey, I got some more medicine that's going to keep this thing at bay. Or if it starts going down, <laughs> I'm really going to be grateful because the... Um, uh, the doc said maybe 20% chance that it was going to be going down, but he wasn't positive that it was going to happen for me. I've beaten the odds before, man. I'm not saying that like a, egotistically. I'm just saying that more from a humble uh, point of view. Because, uh, like, for example, when I had a blood clot, man. Uh, it, I was, like, really at my last legs when I finally found out what was going on. I went to a government hospital here and. Some government hospitals really aren't the best. Uh, this particular one was good, but they told me uh, you could probably sit around here waiting for about two days to get a bed, as in literally waiting in the hospital two days. Or I could go to a private hospital and get uh, help immediately. It's like, and she was saying, uh, if you can go to a private hospital, you might want to do that. So I did, but the thing is, I only had... I had my phone, and it was like at half charge. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to uh, borrow a charger from someone at the hospital, and I even needed to have my computer too. That was, a, and it was dumber than hell for me to uh, come back to my condo, but to get my computer and my phone, because it was a literal struggle, man, where, um, 
if I took 10 steps, I needed to, I was like looking for something I could use to help me out here, I couldn't find it. If I literally took 10 steps, I had to take a break. That's how bad off I was with uh, not getting any oxygen into my muscles and my body. That's how I was uh, suffocating. And I was able to barely make it to the hospital and I was able to beat that thing. And uh, even after my first therapy I had for this cancer, the, my uh, blood doctor was familiar with, you know, my files was telling me, I think you need to um, uh, get, uh, get checked out for uh, blood clots because the way the blood clots are, they could come back, uh, they could get controlled by cancer basically. And uh, in, in the higher the level of the cancer, the more likely you have a blood clot. So it's not, for me, with <laughs> stage four, it wasn't how many, or if you have any blood clots, it's how many do you have? And I had zero, which that was a victory right there. So I'm not, be, so tomorrow I'm being optimistic. I'm not being optimistic because I'll, I think I'm gonna beat this or anything like that. I can, I'm optimistic that I can maintain this for the rest of my life because I'm this stubborn fighter, dude. And I, I'm a fighter from my heart and soul. Uh, but I'll, the main thing I'm optimistic about is the, how I can take it because if I can, I mean, I, I, I won't be able to survive this or win this if I did it, the, if I handled it the way I did when I first got the bad news. And uh, yeah, I just gotta know that eventually it's gonna go up, you know, every few every few years, and that's gonna go up, and I'd have to be prepared for it, and and I have to be prepared to say, oh, the hell with it, man, well, let's go and change therapies and yada yada. So uh, that's really it, man. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave it, uh, end this for now. Sorry about the jump cut there, because I had to pause for a second. Did I forget anything just so I wouldn't sit there and ramble more than I usually do? But no, that's basically about it. Um, yeah, man, just wish me luck. I'm crossing my fingers. And just no matter what happens tomorrow, I'm just going to be really grateful for being able to still continue to move on, live in life, and... The longer I live, man, the more I beat this, and I'm gonna be around for a long time. I have, I think I have a hell of a story to tell, and I, I just want people to know my story just so they can sit there and think, damn it, man. You know, if Matt could sit there and survive this and beat, uh, beat this and carry on no matter what the odds, I can do something good too, so. That's one of my uh, true hopes out of all this, just to make a good difference in people's lives. All right, guys, that's it. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. After eight minutes and 20 seconds, that's it. Uh, taxation is theft. Care of the watch. <laughs> Signing off. See you. <laughs>